One more question for you on the Get Ready for the Future show today. Mike in Hot Springs asks, Dave Ramsey often berates life insurance salespeople for selling whole life or cash value life insurance, but life insurance agents are just as passionate about the positive aspects of the product. What say you? Well, I say that financial products don't have a soul. They don't have a personality. They are not inherently good or bad. What is good or bad is how those financial products are used and how they are represented by an insurance salesperson about what they can and can't do. Scott, over the 30-something years that I've been in this industry, I have had people try to convince me that a cash value whole life insurance will make my bed, serve me breakfast, and drive me to work. <laughs> That'd be and, pretty nice. And it would be pretty nice. It won't do that. And it won't do some of the things that insurance agents say that it will. Uh, I think that, that we, like Dave, think that term life insurance is the right life insurance for the vast majority of people. And here's where this boils down to. You can't afford enough cash value life insurance to properly replace the income that you're making right now to your family if you have a death during your working years. You likely cannot afford enough of it because people need way more life insurance than they're oftentimes even comfortable having on their own life because when you do the math on income replacement, even if you moderate it a little bit off of what your actual income is to say, you know, you're not going to be around spending money, it's still a very large number. And so we think that term life insurance has to do that job. That's job number one is to replace the income of the breadwinner because your family would be suffering if something happened to you and your income were suddenly cut off. Now, what I will say is that in certain cases, there are a, there is some case need for a, a permanent type of insurance. The one thing that I can think of, Scott, is if you have a lot of money in your estate, maybe you have a very high-valued uh, small business that you're going to leave to your family. Uh, if that passes on to the next generation, there's going to be a tax bill on that. Yep. And uh, frankly, in 2025, that tax bill is probably going to be a lot higher than it would be if you died in 2023 yep. or 2024. Mm -hmm. So there, there's some complexities there that you've got to have the liquidity to be able to pay those estate taxes. And you may have to pay those estate tax, or your family may have to pay those estate taxes when you're 90, 95 years old, whatever the case may be. So there's a liquidity need in some cases there. Yeah. Another key area that, that cash value life insurance does have some validity on is sort of the same type of situation, except when you have a special needs child. And, and when I'm talking child, I'm talking about an adult child who is, uh, you know, uh, still needing to be cared for well into your retirement years and what have you. That special needs child has lots of restrictions on how they can have income. And most of the t special needs kids have something called a special needs trust. That trust needs to be funded with money that can carry on providing for those needs after your death. And so there is a long period of time that there may be a need for a life insurance death benefit that is a tax-free death benefit that could land in that special needs trust to provide income for that child. There are limited uh, case use cases of cash value life insurance, but here's what I want to really caution everybody about. Anytime someone says to you, never do this, or always do that, I think you've got to question that because there are there is no, life is not a cookie cutter situation. You've got to think about what the overall need is for that situation and address that need. We believe term life insurance does a great job and are huge advocates for term life insurance in the vast majority of life insurance needs, but there are some areas where cash value life insurance actually can play a critical role. Yeah, the word unique comes to mind. Everybody's situation is unique. And certainly back to the Dave Ramsey discussion, he has such a large audience, John, there's no way he can talk to anybody on a one-on-one -on -one basis. He's got an audience of 18 million people per week. So he tends to talk about things in black and white and absolutes. And I do think there are principles, as we've already discussed on our show today, that are very valuable to apply across the board because it gets you steered in the right direction. It gets you creating good financial habits and avoiding bad financial habits. And certainly that puts people on the path 
to true financial independence. But when it comes to choosing investments, choosing a type of insurance, I don't think you want to rely on Dave Ramsey's advice to do that. That's not the position he's really in and not the position he serves others in. He's a motivator. He's uh, laying principles, writing books to get people going in the right direction. But I think ultimately you need a financial advisor who works on these specific types of things every day with clients to really get the tremendous value that you need.